Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Miss D, your friendly neighborhood art teacher, and today I'm going to walk you through site creation. So the first thing that you're going to do is go up to the upper right corner and you're going to click on your app suite. I call this our waffle. So let's click on the waffle and you're going to click on sites. Now, I've done a few practice sites, but I'm going to start straight from the beginning for those of us who got a little bit confused yesterday or we need just a quick uh, run through just to remind us what we did yesterday. So first off, we're going to hit create. And I'm going to use classic sites because that's what we were using yesterday. Then you're going to name your site and you want it to have something to do with either your first or last name. Then you're going to select a theme. And I'm a glittery kind of gal, so we will choose glitter. I should choose schoolhouse. I'm going to choose glitter. And then you're going to hit create. Now, if someone else has already chosen the name of your site, it's probably going to have a little drop down that says site domain already chosen. So you would have to change your name in some way. Just add a number one or two to it or something like that. So now you have your basic home page. And this is where you're going to include information about yourself. You can choose images of your artwork. You can include videos for things that you think are funny. This is just going to be an about you home page. Now, the biggest thing to keep in mind is we're not publishing this to the entire world. We're just publishing it to Enterprise City School so other students can look at it. However, you still want to avoid including any personal information. That means you probably don't want to do your first and last name. You definitely don't want to include anything like where you will be at any given time or what your address is or your phone number or anything like that. Internet Safety 101, that goes for anything that you ever put out onto the web. Now, what we're going to do is if you want to edit this page, you'll click on the little pencil there at the top and you'll be able to type in information. You can insert videos and information from your drive. You can insert a calendar if you would like to. Um, if you would like to put in some different apps, you can do that. You can put in some links if you wanted to include links to things that you're really interested in. But this home page is for you to design. We're not going to worry too much about it right this second. I'm going to let you come back to it. So you'll hit save. And what I want you guys to focus on first is creating your sub page for your video game project. So you're going to hit that page with a plus sign in the upper right corner. You're going to name your page video game project. And just from a style note, it's a really good idea to capitalize the first letter of each word. It just looks nicer. Put page under home. And then you are going to hit create. All right. Now, when you are ready to edit, you're going to add files. You can add in if you've downloaded your Piscal recently. You can choose your Piscal. I'm going to double click. So there is a little link there that other people can view. They can pull up your Piscal and take a look at it. In your video game project box, you're going to include information about your game, including the title, what kind of game it is, and how you would play it. So that means that think about if you're buying a brand new game and you look on the back of the box, usually it includes this kind of information. You want to sell your game so your description cannot be boring or mundane. It has to be as exciting as your game would be if it really truly did exist. So make sure that you choose a description that's really exciting and get some of your friends to proofread it because you want to make sure that you have everything that you need and spelled exactly the way that you want it. One big tip is if you are going to have a video game, a title of a game would be in italics. So you're going to click that italic I up here. 
And usually, unless it's a small short preposition, your title is going to have capital letters at the beginning of each word. So you want to make sure that it's italicized and it's properly capitalized. And this is something that you should be studying in your English classes. So hopefully everybody knows how to do that. And then of course, as you work, you can save. Now, if again, you wanna change something, you can hit edit page. And say for instance, I would like to insert an image. I'm gonna go over here to insert an image. I'm gonna hit upload images. And it's going to choose the things that are saved on my drive. And I will go through and choose the thing that I want to put in for my image. If you have taken a picture of your cover art, it really needs to be in this section. So let's see here. If we wanted to do our fiscal, yeah, okay. Now the thing is, is this is not going to be animated. It's just going to include that first screen. Um, if you decide you don't want it, you can just hit backspace and it erases. Now, if you need to intake an image, you're going to hit that zero down here. This is your launcher. You're going to click on all apps. And then you're going to click on your camera. You will take a lovely picture of your artwork that you drew for your cover art. Take a picture, cheese. Oh no, 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 no. Let's try a different one. Cheese. Eh, better. So you'll click on the tool folders down there. Click on the image that you would like to save. And you can't see this, I'm gonna have to move this screen over. But down here, you're gonna have a little square with a triangle and you're gonna hit save to disk. And that's going to save it into your folder. It's going to be saved as a JPEG. You can change the name if you want, but it has to be .jpeg or else it's not going to save as that file. Okay. Then we'll go to Insert, Oops, Image, Upload Images. And you'll choose the JPEG that you just took. Now when it uploads, it's going to be very, very big. We're going to make it a little bit smaller and that's gonna be very easy. All you have to do is, it's large right now. We're just gonna click medium. And that's going to make a smaller image and then below it, you can start typing your video game description. So this is some getting started tips for your video game website, your page. Now, whenever you are finished with this section, you can go back and start modifying your home page. Oops, don't forget to save anytime you leave a page. You can go back to your home page and you can continue editing that as well. Remember that your home page is going to include information about your interests, not necessarily your personal information, but just links to things that you enjoy. And of course, anytime you want to include something, you can include a link. You can include calendars, charts. You can include include a form if you wanted to do a um, if you wanted to do a, a survey for people. Um, you can look at other gadgets that you could add to your page. You can search for those by URL if there are things that you have out there that you would like to add. But basically, just making it personal and your own. Now, say you're not exactly sold on your template. One last thing that I'll show you for today is if you would like to change your colors or your font or anything like that, you're gonna go up here to your cog, click on Manage Site, click on Themes, Colors, and Fonts. You can change your name from here. You can change your base theme. Like right here, I have Glitter chosen. You can choose a different theme, and then you would go back to your site once you save the changes that you've made. You can also play 
with text and content and all that kind of stuff. So just 